All right, let's transition to the bonus category here before we wrap up the episode, and that's if Bean were to make a trade, who would you like him to see? What position, I'm sorry, what position would you like him to see upgrade on the defensive unit among the defense in general? So I I don't think this is going to be one that we disagree on. Um, I think I... So for me, it'd be the cornerback two position, and yeah. for me, it's not straight up, you know, one for one with Levi. I think Levi remains the starter. Um, for me, it's more if we were to make a move at the deadline, um, just being a, a player that could bolster up some of the depth. Um, I know mm-hmm. the the talk for Dane Jackson's really quieted down now that you know the regular games are being played and it's not preseason. But we largely still don't know what we have in Dane Jackson. Um, certainly not much else behind him. So I I still remain very nervous about what our depth looks like at that position. Um, cornerback in general, mm-hmm. let alone cornerback too. So if there were to be a trade deadline move on the defensive side of the ball, I, w- I would like to see the, the cornerback room get bolstered a little bit. Yeah, likewise here, and I'm not sure if Bean sees anything out there. And you saw teams such as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers kind of suffer some injuries to the cornerback room, and they brought in players like Richard Sherman, and he hasn't played very well. So uh, I don't really know who's out there who could play better than Levi. So we might be stuck, and that that sounds pretty bad we we're not stuck with levi but we might not find better cornerback play out there on the streets as opposed to what we have here in buffalo and side note here about richard sherman which i thought was really funny i I saw a twitter exchange (laughs) this is i don't know if you if you heard this but there was he got hurt um I forgot and against the Dolphins and somebody like tweeted like oh you know Richard Sherman got hurt he well he can't come back any worse and then Richard Sherman replies like I could come back as you and the guy replied back he said you would be immediately less of a threat to your significant other like I was like damn like that is a burn <laughs> And like m- like multiple thousands of thousands of people like that guy's response and it, it, i mean yeah i mean just don't do that don't be don't be a piece of crap you know big yikes. <laughs> and you won't get burned like that yeah big yikes <laughs> sheesh um it, i don't know i i guess if we're if there's not a if for me i i would agree cornerback two spot but i'll go a little big picture here if there's no need to have a guy like Vernon Butler on this team, if he's consistently a healthy scratch, and maybe they have him there just in case, like somebody goes down, aka Star Latule, and then Harrison Phillips. Like I think he's like the last line of defense, or, or you know Harrison Phillips the last line of defense. One, I propose, and this is assuming that. You know, Star Tule stays healthy. That why don't we get rid of Vernon Butler? I Vernon Vernon Butler, he hasn't done anything. He's inconsistent, and he he's expensive to be a healthy scratch. He's basically uh, what's his name? Trent Murphy. Trent, Trent Murphy two point but but he he doesn't play. Like you know, I, I don't know. If for me, I, I'm not about it. Uh, that that's not a good, you know, allocation of resources. And I understand where Bean was in terms of when he signed that move. You know, bring in players that you know that you self scouted, and they this team talks so highly of Vernon Butler, but I've yet to see it. I don't think it's coming. Dump the contract somewhere else. I, I like the way you kind of flip that around not necessarily somebody we bring into the building but maybe a little like addition by subtraction type of idea um getting into oh, yeah. you know the the snaps is capital idea 
um, mm-hmm. freeing up some of these these opportunities for some of the younger guys. So I, I like that. I like that. 